This is Witchspace News for Friday the 1st of May 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news the Elite Dangerous Next Era expansion is delayed. Matt Westhorpe is interviewed by the BBC and Buckyball Racing announce the next series of events. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. In a post to the official forums this morning Will Flanagan updated the community with an announcement that I suspect probably won't surprise a lot of people. The 2020 paid expansion to Elite Dangerous now being referred to as the Elite Next Era update has been delayed slightly till early 2021. Whilst there's obviously going to be a degree of disappointment to a delay for the much anticipated update given the extraordinary times in which we find ourselves and the difficult conditions that Frontier are having to continue working in a delay was frankly almost inevitable. Whilst the post does state that the delay will shift the next era to early 2021 it does also state that the schedule for the release of information about the update has not changed so whilst we will be waiting a little bit longer for the update itself it appears we will still be hearing about the contents of that update on the same schedule as before. The story of Commander Michael Holyland, the 15 year old commander in Elite Dangerous who was dying of leukemia in a Cambridge hospital has, thanks to his uncle Matt Westhorpe, become a benchmark in the history of the game. In case you're new to the community and to Michael's story here's a very quick potted history. During the young commanders final week on the planet his uncle tweeted about Michael's plight and his love of Elite Dangerous. The tweet was picked up by the community team at Frontier and in the following days with an increasing sense of urgency the community rallied round, Michael was visited by the team from Frontier and immortalised in a story by author Drew Wager that was then professionally recorded as an audiobook for Michael to listen to. That week and the joy the game, Frontier and the community were able to bring to Michael's final hours has become the stuff of legend. It was even reported in a few of the larger media outlets at the time most notably the Guardian National Newspaper in the UK and it now appears that that report is where it was picked up by the production team at the BBC that was in the midst of creating a new video game related podcast series called This Game Changed My Life. Following their discovery of Commander Michael's story the producer on the show Nathan Jones contacted Uncle Matt who then visited the BBC and recorded what was at the time the pilot show of the series. The episode in which hosts Julia Hardy and Aoife Wilson speak with Matt Westhorpe about Elite and Michael's experiences is now available to listen to on the BBC Sounds app. Suffice to say it's an extremely moving story but the interview is also funny, positive and heartwarming and adds yet further depth to the ongoing legacy of one very brave little boy. Do give it a listen. There's links to everything you need in the description below. And finally, serial SRV jockey, international rock star, and teen heartthrob Alec Turner sends word this week that the Buckyball Racing Club has queued up its next four events. Over the next four months, the Mad as a Bag of Fish organisation dedicated to event races in Elite Dangerous will be bringing the following challenges. Starting on the 9th of May 3306 Signs of Life by Eldegard von Rhein. June will see the arrival of the Engineers Cortez Mixer by Terracidic and then in July we move on to Keys to the Carrier by the aforementioned Alec Turner and finally in August Ashnak will be unleashing Real Men Race in Lederhosen. Yes really. <laughs> Details for the first challenge Signs of Life are available right now. The race will see commanders returning with proof of life from other worlds and features extremely low barriers to entry with a class that demands an unengineered diamondback explorer to participate. Details are available on the Bucky Ball website which is linked below. If you see Alec Turner there tell him the burr sent you and then enjoy the pained grimace on his funny little face. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greeds on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. 
we very much look forward to seeing you next time.